What's up, folks? It's your boy Edel for the Hawks Beat. Back again, breaking down some film. This time, we're breaking down the Ali play from Trey to Nathan Knight against the Grizzlies. Again, just a beautiful pass and finish from Trey to Nathan Knight. Let's take a look at some of the details and see what happened here. So the first thing I noticed on this play is Ja Morant. Very unaware, very unassuming. He's not defending the, the passer. He's not guarding the lane. He's just kind of lackadaisical, just sitting there. And if you're going to be on the court in an NBA game, you have to be locked in. He needs to either be facing Trey or be guarding the inbound. He sees Bowie coming off the screen. He doesn't try to get into a passing lane. He's just sitting there. And you got to do better than that, Ja. You got to be more aware. Second thing I notice on this play is the Kevin Herter screen. Kevin Herter just dives down to the block, sets a screen, not a powerful screen, but just gets down to just cause some disruption on the defense to allow Nathan Knight to just get a step on his defender. In the NBA, that's all you need is a step. Uh, he wants to provide that step so Nathan can get into position to make a play on the ball. Next up is Brandon Clark. Clark is the one uh, on Nathan Knight. Uh, once the herder pick is set, it is obvious that they're not doing any type of switch. So he has to get around that pick. He's got to move his feet quicker. Kobe used to call it getting skinny, <laughs> getting skinny around the pick. So got to move his foot. And, and for what it's worth, I thought Brandon did an okay job getting around this pick. Would have been nice if Grayson would have had a little bit of help defense. Maybe take a step or two to get in front of Nathan's lane once he's diving to the hoop. But he offers no help defense, and Brayden I mean, is a step or two late, and it results in the alley-oop. So all that's left now is the pitch and the catch, the, the pass and the finish from Trey to Nathan. Uh, but because you didn't have anybody pressuring the ball, because you didn't offer any help defense, because uh, Brandon was a step a step late after Nathan, uh, you had a play which resulted in the alley-oop, a very beautiful alley-oop, and an and one, so they had a three-point play. Kind of a breakdown for the Grizzlies, but a beautifully executed play for the Atlanta Hawks. Kudos to Trey and Nathan for this beautiful play. So thanks so much for checking us out today. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to check out the Hawks Beat Podcast. We'll see you when we see you. Peace and love.